that. Oh, that is actually, uh, Stella McCartney made these for the movie. Oh yeah? She actually made a belt of it, but I can't wear it because I'm afraid I'll kill someone. Yeah, you hug someone. Because it's like and right it's like, here and it's very, oh, oh. they're very big. When you first looked in the mirror, full makeup done, what was your reaction? I think I laughed. I didn't know if my voice and my look would ever be something that was maybe good enough uh, for the fans of the original. So I was scared and I was nervous and we kept trying things. Um, but then when we finally got it all right, it just felt so fun. Well, well. I shall bestow a gift on the child. You made me clucky. And clucky Aww. is when you want to breed incessantly. You I've been, to... I know clucky. There you go. And I'm not really <laughs> a clucky person, but then it was Aww. a time where Vivian obviously playing Princess Aurora went up, up, and I. <laughs> it was, like my ovaries just <laughs> burst basically. Oh. That was the sweetest moment. It was in the script that little Aurora would be uh, would be there and that Maleficent would be very quite hard on her and say, I don't like children and tell her to go away. And we realized that I would I met little kids on set and they cried. <laughs> little kids, some people would bring their kids to set and then I'd see them and then they, I scared them because in person I was very scary, I suppose, to them. Um, so we realized that it was gonna be very hard to cast it and so by default, the only kid I knew that I could never scare is my daughter, because no matter what I look like, she just... It was a melting she loves moment. Me. So she's, she, uh, oh yeah, no, was I know, she does melt me. Was it true that you asked Shiloh when she laughed? She was like, oh no. Well, we joked about Shiloh being the older Aurora. Oh, okay. And she thought it was the most ridiculous thing in the world. No, she, she would never even wear a dress. <laughs> she would never, ever. That's beautiful. No, she wants to be somebody named Marcus. I said, do you want to be, <laughs> do you want to be a, uh, in Aurora, Aurora, you have any interest? And she said, no, I'll be Marcus. And I said, who's Marcus? She said, Marcus has horns and a bow and arrow. So I don't know who Marcus is, but in her mind, there's a whole other character named Marcus. I think that's the spin-off. I think so too.